Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Historic Headstones of Norfolk. Uh, we're going to be talking about David Lowenberg. We are currently in the Forest Lawn Cemetery, Ward's Corner part of Norfolk. It is the largest cemetery in Hampton Roads. We, uh, David here was born in 1839. He died in 1909. The name David Lowenberg is very well known with business development in Norfolk. He was like many wealthy men in the era who started out in business when the city was still recovering from the effects of the Civil War. Lowenberg was engaged in a very large project in downtown Norfolk. He held on to land at the corner of City Hall and Granby in downtown Norfolk and wanted to build a hotel on that corner, the future home of Monticello Hotel, one of the most famous hotels in Norfolk. He was born in Württemberg, Germany, October 5th, 1839. He came to America in 1855, arriving in New York. Like many immigrants in America, he was a peddler, selling his wares from town to town. He loved to tell how he started in business, carrying a back, a pack on his back. He was very proud of this. He always looked upon his youth with absolute pride. He journeyed south to make his fortune when he settled into Asheville, North Carolina. A few years later, he made his home in Goldsboro, when the Civil War broke out, he joined the 16th Regiment in the South Carolina Infantry and fought with them for four years. After the war, like many soldiers during the Confederate Army, he lost everything and decided to come to Norfolk in 1868 to see if he could make a life for himself here. In due time, he would open a small merchandise business. Things for him were tough for a while after the war. When his business started to make a profit, he began investing in property. His greatest accomplishment was the building of the Monticello Hotel, his residence for many years. He had acquired the swampy land around Granby Street and City Hall Avenue, which is really hard to believe it was swamp nowadays, but back then it was very swampy. He envisioned a grand hotel at the heart of downtown Norfolk. In fact, he planned the name of the hotel before it was even built, the Monticello. One day, him and a couple of engineers go to the swampy site where the hotel would be. He tells the engineers, gentlemen, here is where I want my hotel. Go ahead and build it. The engineers are confused, are scratching their head, and they tell him, we do not think we can build such a place here. All right, said Lowenberg, I will hire someone else who can. The hotel was completed more than a year later in 1899. David Lohenberg was a quiet man. He spoke with a soft voice. He had a repetition of saying the right things at the right time. In his later years, he lived with his second wife in his furnished apartment in the hotel. When his health was good, he was often seen with his wife riding an open horse carriage through downtown Norfolk. He died on December, uh, December 11, 1909, leaving an estate with $750,000. The original hotel was destroyed by a fire in the year's day, 1918. Uh, the day was so cold that the water from the fire equipment froze before it could even reach the fire. Two firefighters lost their lives that day and they're buried in the fireman lot over in Cedar Grove Cemetery. If you come to our 9-11 tour in September, you, they, both of those firemen will be on that tour. Uh, the, the hotel was rebuilt a year later with two additional stories added, operated until it was demolished in 1976 as part of Norfolk's ongoing urban renewal project. Right now, the federal building stands there now and is still currently standing there. All right, guys, thanks for this. I just wanted to say a lot of sites online are listing him over at the Hebrew Cemetery over at Tidewater and uh, Francis Sand. That is completely wrong. He is buried here the Jewish section of Forest Lawn and he has the oldest stone in this section. So just to let you guys know if there's any confusion. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.